Hello everyone, Hellfire here, and uh, welcome to my Let's Play of Game of Thrones Telltale. I'm going to be starting a new game this time around. Uh, the second episode has just come out, so I'm going to start fresh from the beginning. Uh, I've already gone through the first episode once, but let's see if I can uh, make a couple different choices and tailor the path a little bit differently this time around. So, I need to change my save file. So I'm going to start a new one down here. We'll do four, so it's all the way on the other side. Okay, so save four, and I'm going to start it. Let's start it up, begin episode one. The Northerners will never forget. For thousands of years, House Forester have been loyal bannermen to House Stark. In the darkest reaches of the Wolf's Wood, they harvest the rare ironwood trees. Now the North has been ripped apart by war and rival houses. Seek to claim Forester ironwood for themselves, and the fate of House Forester hangs the trial, in the balance. The great Jamie Lannister, Kingslayer, Oathbreaker, brought to his knees by the men of the North. And set free by the women. You'd think he'd done it himself the way he tells it. Lord Forrester's sword won't clean itself, you know. Make sure it's spotless this time. Old Forrester won't be happy with blood and brains all over it. Go on. It's only blood. Oh, look at that. It's only blood. Come now on, that, buddy. You got this. Proper sword. I'll have one like it myself someday. You? You'll never have a sword like that. I say that as a friend. And if we're being honest. Oh, don't be an arse, Bowen. Don't be an arse. Apologies, your yeah. lordship. I had Andy, you know. Hand him what? Capturing him! He was nowhere near the Kingslayer at the Whispering Wood. He was so drunk, he barely made it out of his tent. Next, he'll tell us he caught Tyrion, too. Oh, yeah? You, <laughs> so you know really? what was going on there, buddy? Someone caught him, I suppose. That's Kenny Man here, and they'll say it was them. You captured the Kingslayer? Aye. Well, I had a hand in it. Aye. And round his ankle as ten others took him down. <laughs> See? What do I tell you? Brought him to his knees. Lord Forrester. But not before he dragged you halfway across the battlefield on your face. You're questioning <laughs> Norrin's honor. I'm questioning Norrin's story. Which grows more far fetched every time he tells it. Get your liege lord some wine. Go on. It's your I job. Really I don't take start. orders from you. No, Last time I was like a little him. like little Easy, bitch. But squire. this time I think I'm gonna be a dick. Fetch him some wine. Thank you, Garrett. I'll do it. Norrin's family has faithfully served House Forrester for centuries. His honor is beyond reproach, and House Tully is forever in his debt. They've never seen a field plowed so well as the day the Kingslayer dragged poor Norrin across the battlefield. <laughs> Fetch your cup. The night we celebrate. <laughs> the Rob Stark! The King in the North! The, the King, King, in the King, King in the North! Tomorrow, we march on Casterly Rock, and House Forrester has been given the greatest honor to lead the Young Wolf's army and ride as the vanguard! The gods have favored us. Onward! 
to Castle Rock! Aye. Death to the Lannisters! Aye. I am from ice! Got it. Yes, my lord? I need you to keep an eye out for Roderick. As his father, I could not be more proud of the man he's become. On a night like this, men find false courage at the bottom of their cups. I'd rather he were here. Yes, my lord. There's also the question, and what's to be done with you? It's been on my mind for a while now. Something must be done. You've served House Forrester well for several years now, but I can't expect you to squire forever. How shall I reward your loyalty? What can I offer you? You served yeah. me well. Let, Let me fight. fight for you, my lord. You've more than proven your ability on the battlefield. No man like a little question hothead. that. There were those who had their doubts when your uncle Just put forth your name as my squire. Being an asshole. And but you've erased those doubts entirely. Shit. It would be an honor to see you riding by Roderick's side in the vanguard tomorrow. Not as a squire, but as the equal of any man who serves House Forrester. It's well deserved, Garrett. Begging your pardon, my lord, but it's long overdue. Arrogance doesn't become you, Garrett. Perhaps I misjudge yeah, your I think it becomes me just perfectly. Now go, and find Roderick if you can. I will, my lord. Thank you. Bloody hell. Empty. Squire! Fetch us more wine! Can you give me a hand? Come on. Make it up to you. Do it Put yourself. yourself. I've been a squire longer than you, which means I outrank you. So? It's all you, not me. Go with Bowen. More wine, scrub my armor, clean my boots. Just my luck to end up with Norin while you serve the Lord. Let him fetch his own wine for once. He's a drunk, a liar, and an arrogant prick. Oh, shut up, Bowen. See, that's where you're lucky. Low expectations. If I'd grown up covered in big shit, shovel and slop, well, maybe I'd think saddling his horse was the greatest honor in the Seven Kingdoms. I suppose this beats pig farming. Just shut your mouth. It's the truth. It's not like I'm making it up. <laughs> All I'm saying is, at this rate we'll never be more than this, which is nothing. The lowest of the low. For all I know, we could be squires for life. All in wine around a fucking wedding. What a waste of fucking time. I'm sick of listening to your wine. With that attitude, you'll never be more than this. Easy for you to say. Maybe if my uncle were Castle, then I'd feel different. Who my uncle is has nothing to do with it. How much further? Uh, it's right over there. Take your time. You lot have drunk your share. Good thing, Lord Walders. In a generous mood. Fucking phrase. Nice night for a wedding. Not often he finds a willing husband for one of his daughters. Don't expect me to carry it for you, Sir Garrett. What? What's wrong? Just run into you. You're acting rather odd. You've had too much wine. We have enough wine. Then <laughs> take the fucking flagon already. What's wrong with him? Something the matter? Bowen, we have to go. You go if you're in such a rush. <clears throat> but what about? What the hell was that about? Slow down, would you? What's the rush? Run! Ah! 
We need to get back to camp. Apparently I died. I wasn't supposed to die. I mean, it's Game of Thrones, so who really knows when you're supposed to die. I mean, a horse fell on him, so I don't know Find if that's why the phrase slaughtering him. But for the sake of the story, we'll just go with it. Bitch to grab the sword. Now that guy got me. What a free, you fucking traitor! Go, my lord, while there's still time. Oh, good thing I spent seven seconds cleaning that fucking sword for you. Seven hells. Well, now what do we do? If we run. They'll hunt us down like dogs. If we steer, they'll slaughter us like the others. All the braces, time to <gasps> Guard 
this with your life. Return it to Ironrath, where it belongs. There's no time to waste. I'll be damned if I let it fall into the hearts of those traitors. What the phrase says you have to go. You're welcome. To the fucking torch. I will do as you command, my lord. You have served me well. I know I can count on you. Yeah, how long is he gonna remember that for? Like Tell four your seconds uncle. before he fucking gets killed. <laughs> Tell him. The North Grove must never be lost. Tell no one but him. Do you understand? You must swear. Tell only your uncle Duncan. The future of the house may depend on it. The North Grove, my lord. Hey, it's those foresters. Go. On your honor, you must do this for your house. Go! Kill those <laughs> fucking foresters! We love the fray. Oh, don't mind the little dude just trotting off into the woods with a fucking sword. thousand other fucking plot lines that got going. But these people actually exist in the canon in the storyline, so No, I was just gonna walk right by that blood. Lord. Must be a pig. Fresh. I wonder if it's kosher. Uh Jew joke. Oh, see if that's where it came from. Seven more steps and I would have figured that shit out. Blazer. That's father's car. Bolton better give us fucking titles for this. But it may be common, but at least still have his bacon. <laughs> Those are my long, daddy's boy. Pigs. There's nothing for you here. <laughs> Father, I said move on. I'm going to kill you. Do this. Is that so? You can try if you like, and then we'll feed you to the pigs. Get off my land! This is Bolton land now, boy. Lord Bolton is the new warden of the north. 
I reckon he'd like a proper lordly sword like that. I'll have that sword, boy. Fuck you. Two swings. Finish this fucking pig farmer. And you lost the swing. You really are a pig fucking farmer, pitch aren't you? Work. Hell yeah. <laughs> survived your sister she hid I tried to stop them Kill the men who did this. Garrett! Get the Castellan! Tell him his nephew survived! Garrett! I was too late. They were already dead. Bring the Maester! Meet us in the Great Hall! Quickly! Two White Hill soldiers? And a Bolton. They killed my family. And for what? My sister, she... She was only eight years old. This never would have happened with the Starks in power. It's unimaginable. Unacceptable. You have my condolences. Thank you, Mister. Blade cut deep, but I should be able to save your leg. Your justice was swift. Some will call it vengeance. No doubt the White Hills will claim it was murder. It was your family. I can't say I would have done any different than you. It was justice. Yeah, it was justice. They got what they deserved. They did indeed. We can't let the White Hills just walk all over us. These maggots ought to help prevent infection. Hold the wound open for me, would you? 
Uh, uh, yeah, let's pour some maggots in that bitch. It's modern medicine, motherfuckers. Yeah, let's let him just sit in there. These are dark days, I fear. To lose the lord of the house and the eldest son through such a despicable act of treachery and betrayal. <sighs> Greater houses than ours have fallen in times such as this. The late Lord Forrester was a good man. And poor Roderick. A serious man, but he would have made a good lord. Roderick and Lord Forrester. We can avenge them. And attack House Frey. Now is the time to find allies, not enemies. The future of this house is in Lord Ethan's hands now. Although he is young, and altogether unprepared to lead. Right. Uh, this might hurt a bit. Hold this for me, will you? I understand from your uncle that Lord Forrester saved your life. He did. Rather odd, though, that he chose to save you, his squire, and not his son, Roderick. Not that Roderick couldn't handle himself. He was as good with a sword as any man I've seen. It's unfortunate the Citadel doesn't train maesters in the art of Warcraft. He gave me a message to deliver. A message? About what? What did he tell you? No, I can't tell you. Get my uncle. Not tell anyone. I was told only to tell him. Still a bomber. Your uncle? I see. Must be rather important then. Lady Forrester yeah, will did. be here any moment now. I'd like you to walk for me first. To see if you can put any weight on that leg. Uh. Go on. Don't stop now. It's better to let the blood circulate. Alright, well, that seems like a good part to stop at. And uh, thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe. And uh, see you on the next uh, time around. Later.